All right, let's talk about the stimulus, shall we? We've got some big news on the stimulus front. I wanted to bring it to you today. We actually have a date. Yes, we have a date for when we could see this new stimulus. We have an amount. We have what it might be capped at. We have a whole list of information that we're finally getting from the White House. Specifics from President Trump, from Mitch McConnell, from Vice President Mike Pence's office on when this whole thing will come together. This is not, this is not pie in the sky. These are not clickbaity titles and news headlines and anything else. We're hearing it directly now from administration and congressional officials. So listen up. Here's President Trump asked yesterday, will we see direct checks? This was the question that he got about a week ago and people were like, did he say it? Did he not? I don't know. He did say it, that we would see direct checks, but other people like Bloomberg and Forbes and other Forbes.com said, don't count on it. He didn't say it. He was asked about it again yesterday. And yes, he said it. Listen to the president yesterday in an interview for, in Washington. Can Americans expect more stimulus checks from you? The answer is yes. We're working on it right now with Congress. I want more than other people's want, people want to do, but uh, it'll be significant numbers. Great for the people of our country. Okay, so it's gonna be more than what other people want, referring to Democrats. Again, I come back to this question, what does that mean? Does it mean that it will be bigger than what the HEROES Act proposed at $1,200 per individual, $2,400 per couple, filing jointly, and up to three dependents at $1,200? So that would be a total of $6,000 for a family of five, if possible, if they qualify, okay? Or would it be bigger than what Bernie Sanders put forth and Kamala Harris and Ed Markey, which was $2,000 under their Emergency Money for the People Act, was $2,000 per month. So that could be a potential of $10,000 per qualifying family, and it would be retroactive back to March. And it would go through the rest of the year. Don't count your chickens on that. But he did say it would be bigger than what the Democrats want. Well, they're, they're Democrats, they're senators. They put forth a bill. Is it going to be bigger? I don't know. I don't know. Bigger than that or bigger than what the HEROES Act is? I, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what that looks like over the next few weeks. But how much money, uh, what will be included from the president's side of this? And would he veto a bill that did not include a payroll tax? He was asked about the payroll tax cut that the White House wants. Now, bear in mind that Congress doesn't want this. Republicans and Democrats are not a fan of the payroll tax cut. Why? Well, because we already can't pay for stuff. Uh, the, the, the uh, government revenue right now is plummeting. They're taking in way less money than they're sending out. And the way that you get money is from payroll taxes. So if you're going to cut the payroll taxes again, then where is the government going to get money to pay for all of their, uh, all their pork barrel spending that they love spending on and big, huge defense budgets so we can buy aircraft, for, make Boeing happy that we never use, right? We got to make these defense contractors happy and just keep pouring money down their, their pants. Ridiculous, right? So we can't afford it. They are not a fan of the payroll tax cut. And President Trump says, yes, I will veto it if there is not a payroll tax cut in this bill. You would veto something if it didn't include a payroll tax if cut? If it didn't include what we think we need for the economy and for jobs, I would absolutely veto it, yes. All right, not mincing words there. So we will see a payroll tax cut. We will see direct stimulus payments to the American people that will be bigger than what Democrats want, according to the president. And we also now have an amount that the stimulus will come in at. Forgive the preposition at the end of a sentence there, but that's all I got. Am I losing my voice today? Um, so uh, we now know how much this thing will cost. Mitch McConnell a few weeks ago told the White House that he wanted this thing capped at a trillion dollars. They've already spent three and a half trillion on the first round, then more trillions and PPP and the Federal Reserve has been spending money like crazy. Oh my gosh, we've spent trillions of dollars, right? So the HEROES Act that the House Democrats passed a few weeks ago came in at about 3.3 trillion, massive amount, right? Massive, tons of pork in there and fat and everything else, but a lot of good stuff in there. State and local government funding. Uh, what else was in there? We had, uh, you know, rental assistance for individuals, uh, landlord assistance for landlords that couldn't pay their mortgages, hazard pay, the list went on and on and on, right? There was a lot in there to help people and plus new stimulus checks. Well, Mitch McConnell has said we want it capped at a trillion dollars. The White House rumors were that it would be about two trillion. Peter Navarro from the White House economic team said the president wants it at two trillion. Not anymore. We're now hearing from the vice president's office 
and those who are in these negotiations. Mark Short, he is the White House, the Vice President's Chief of Staff. He's been actively involved in these negotiations with Mike Pence, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin, and Senator Mitch McConnell. We now have a price tag, folks, on what this next stimulus will look like, and we also have a date. This is another huge piece of this. When will we see this? He says we will see it the first week of August. He expects it to be signed by the president on his desk. Listen to Mark Short in a radio interview on Bloomberg Radio. Listen. Uh, we want to we take into consideration the fact the economy is bouncing back. And once you try to contain the amount of spending, I think that you've seen a price tag of about a trillion dollars or less. There's obviously been a, a lot of stimulus put in the system over the last couple of bills. And so the price tag for us uh, would be that. And I think one of the priorities for us is liability protection. Yeah. Uh, we think that's essential for employers to bring people back to work. And just quickly, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says another round of stimulus ahead of August. Is that the timetable that the White House is working on? It is the timetable. The August recess for Congress should be the first week in August. And so yeah. by that timetable, so we want to have a bill on the president's desk. So there you go. First week of August, it will be on the president's desk before they leave for that August recess. A trillion dollars, direct stimulus payments by August 7th, signed by President Trump. Remember, we've got an election, folks, and the president knows there's a sense of urgency right now to get money into the hands of the American people because his numbers are not looking good. He is hurting in states that he sweeped cleanly, Hillary Clinton. Um, he is not looking good in the states that he should be up in right now. He's even struggling in states where he, very red states like Texas, Oklahoma, Arizona. So these are the troubling numbers for President Trump. Remember, no president has won re-election with an 8% unemployment rate. No president. So he's, he's trying to get that number below 8% before election day to see if he can actually win re-election. So these, this stimulus money will need to be in the hands of the American people quickly. And unemployment benefits run out in just a few short weeks here at the end of July. Um, and if we see these spiking coronavirus cases right now going through the roof and we have to head into some sort of further lockdown, this is what I don't get. People say, we're not, we can't go back into a lockdown. It would be devastating to our economy. I get that. But look, we went under lockdown here, right, at the end of March and April when the numbers were around that per day. Now they're double what they were in April. And we're emphatically saying we cannot shut down again. We're seeing 60,000 new coronavirus cases spiking in one day. That's a new record, over 60,000 in one day. And we are not even talking about closing down. In fact, we're talking about just reopening schools right now. Let's get back to school. Let's get open everything back up again. So these checks and stimulus monies need to continue or we are in for a world of hurt. We're already seeing a flood of bankruptcies from businesses. We're seeing a wave of evictions. We're seeing people unable to pay their mortgages. Upwards of 35% of people were unable to pay their mortgage in July. I mean, this is troubling, troubling news. So we absolutely need this stimulus. Quit playing politics, get off your duff, and actually do something about it. So how much will we see and what people will be uh, able and to access this stimulus money? Pay attention very closely to what Mitch McConnell said at his press conference earlier this week. If you missed it earlier in the show or yesterday, I will play it for you now. Mitch McConnell asked specifically about where this would go and how much, you know, what would people have access to? And he first thing he says is capped at 40,000. He believes those people, he didn't say capped, excuse me. I want to be correct. He said the, he, this, he put this number right out there though, that people who are at $40,000, those are the people that were hardest hit. Take a listen to Mitch McConnell. Uh, I think the people who've been hit the hardest are people who make about $40,000 a year or less. Many of them worse in the hospitality industry. The hospitality industry, as you all of you know, just got rim racked. Uh, hotels, um, restaurants. And uh, so that could well be a part of it. That could well be a part of it, $40,000. Now, Sam Stein at the Washington Post and then other White House officials said pay very close attention to that number, that $40,000 number. He didn't just randomly throw that out there. They've been long saying that they wanted more targeted approach to, to the stimulus. And multiple sources say McConnell didn't just throw out that $40,000 as a cutoff haphazardly. Consensus within the GOP is moving in that direction, which would sharply limit the eligibility. So if you make $40,000 or under, 
looks like according to this, the, the framework of this bill, that you would be eligible for the stimulus. Above that, and it would start to be tiered off just like the way it was beyond 75,000 under the CARES Act. But we don't know yet. I'm sure that Democrats will have something to say about that. I'm sure Nancy Pelosi will not be happy about that. And I'm sure there will be a back and forth give and take on what this cap would be. Um, you know, remember Democrats in the HEROES Act increased it up to, I think, 90,000. They went from 75 in the CARES Act up to 90,000. And Republicans want it to go down to 40. That's not a good negotiating tactic, right? I mean, maybe you start low and you kind of keep working up in any negotiation, we'll see. So that is the very latest. That is the recap of the stimulus news today. President Trump saying there will be direct checks. The White House saying that the timeline will be August 7th for a bill to be on the president's desk. That's when they head for their August recess for the president to sign before everyone gets out of Dodge. They need this money into the hands of the American people as quickly as possible. We also have a price tag of a trillion dollars for what this thing is coming in at, about a trillion dollars right now on this new stimulus. That's what it's shaping up to look like. And we also know that there will be funding in there probably for schools so that there's reopening pieces in this as well. And all of that shapes up into one nebulous stimulus package. So that, my friends, is your stimulus update. Um, and we have real news real dates, real money, real amounts for you to swallow. And we'll keep updating you on all of this. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber here. I really appreciate it. And I should make mention, of course, that today's show is brought to you by our friends over at Webull. Go get those two free stocks right now. All you need to do is on your smartphone, go to that web address right there. It's just morrisinvest.com slash Webull. It's a stock trading app. You'll get two free stocks valued up to $1,400 for free just for opening an account, even if you never do anything else with it. You've got two free stocks in an app on your phone that you can monitor and watch as the stock market continues to go up like it does every day, even amidst all of this crazy, crazy coronavirus news. So our thanks to Weeble for supporting the show. The link will be in the description below. Much love to all of you for subscribing to the show. My, uh, my co-host Grover loves you as well. Thank you so much for joining us on the show today. And I hope you have a safe weekend and you're safe to each other, you're kind to each other. It's a crazy world out there that we're living in right now. But thanks for joining us here on the show on a regular basis. Much love to all of you. I'm going to go fix my voice. I need a drink. Bye, everyone.